Hello and welcome to ET Garage on YouTube and I'm um, Eugene Tordo. Uh, today's project is going to be uh, the weather strip, uh, the A and B pillar, uh, A and B or B and A. But uh, I'll find out when I open the bags. But uh, that's what this what, uh, is going to be about, and uh, it's going to be a quick and dirty one. These are about eight years old, seven to eight years old. I forgot how long. But if uh, you haven't seen my other videos, I'll leave a link to a playlist for the weather strip. And the last video was on the door weather strip. And uh, Dale commented down there, one of my subscribers commented down below in the video for the door weather strip, that uh, when putting in those little blue tabs, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just watch the video. And uh, when pressing in those blue tabs, put a little silicone lube on it, and that will make them pop in easier, so... If I ever do these again, I'll try that. And uh, I thank uh, Dale for sharing that information. And I want to thank everybody who's subscribed so far. If you haven't, please go down there, subscribe. I'm getting closer to that thousand subscriber mark. And uh, then maybe I'll start making some money because that's when you need a thousand subscribers to get monetized on YouTube. But anyway, I'm going to get onto this weather strip here. Let me change the, cha the uh, camera angle real quick. And. Uh, Show you what's going on okay here we go you can see here where it's starting to deteriorate like i said this is about uh seven eight years old and it's also getting a lot harder too uh this is the b pillar by the way the b pillar goes over uh just in front of the halo or on the rear of the targa and the a pillar is the uh one that goes up the sides of the windshield and over the top I can't remember if I had to remove my uh, halo trim or not last time I did it, but it doesn't look like I have to. That being said, uh, one important thing to do is uh, make sure you cover up your interior with a tarp. It's going to be making a mess. I'm just going to use an old shower curtain. i got to go get it yet. But, uh, of course, you want to remove your target top, put your windows down. After you do all that, disconnect your battery. You couldn't leave it on, but your doors are going to be open and your interior lights are going to be on and off and whatnot. And uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, basically, um, if I remember correctly, I only used glue just like on the... Uh, the door trim i only used glue on the ends and uh basically i can't remember if i used glue in these tracks or not i'll find out when i get it out because it kind of fits in there really good and like i said use the 3m uh weather strip adhesive uh the black is preferable they got the black and that yellow stuff and uh the only difference is the color but of course the black goes better with black like i said in the last video and you got a couple of nuts to remove i think it's one on this side and one on the other side for the b pillar and the a pillar there's some down here i don't know if you can see that if there's enough light but there's one there and then there's these little pop-out tabs too i believe right here and uh this should because uh, i didn't use if i did use glue i don't like using a lot so this should come off pretty easy and clean up pretty easy if you're taking off the original weather strip uh latex weather strip that came from the factory you're gonna have a mess because that stuff just breaks apart and goes everywhere this shouldn't be as bad uh this is just uh whatever type of rubber it is but it's not the latex and uh this should come out come out on mine come off fairly easy and clean up fairly easy because i did do it eight years ago now there is another thing you have to uh pay attention to is there's these tracks uh that these slide into sometimes you will get uh you may have to remove the tracks and reseal the tracks and i believe it's a 3m adhesive that goes on there on the back side of them there's a two-sided 3m tape that stuff's pricey too by the way and uh, last time I used it. So you may have to do that depending on the condition of your tracks and what's behind it. And uh, that is another source of leaks according to the factory service manual. So if putting all new weather strip is, doesn't fix your problem, uh, you may have to do that. 
Anyway, I'm going to get to it. Let me check. Like I said, change the camera angle again and get a tarp over here and all that good stuff. And we'll get on to it. Okay, the B pillars are off. And I thought there were... Uh, shows how poor the light, light was, but... Uh, I thought there was a little seven millimeter uh, headed screws in there, but they're not. They're actually little plastic ta tabs. So uh, whatever you do, don't lose these black plastic tabs. If the new uh, weather strip comes with it, which I don't believe it does. I don't remember seeing it in a box. It's possibly I missed it, but I don't think so. But anyway, so don't lose those black plastic tabs. And if you break them, don't get... Uh, all bent out of shape because uh, you could just run down the Napa and get some new ones. So don't lose them. Hold on to them. Always prepare to make a run to Napa. Let me uh, move this camera angle again. But anyway, the uh, the B pillar's off. And that came off for, uh, fairly easy. Uh, like I said, last time I did it, like seven, eight years ago, I didn't use a whole lot of glue. I'm glad I didn't. And uh, it's not going to take much cleaning in here, thank God. But uh, let me change the, the camera angle here and uh, get you a better shot. Okay, hopefully you can see this real good. And I don't have a lot of cleaning in here to do. Uh, I got a real thin layer of glue in there. So uh, that's going to make it easier to clean up. You can see I got some corrosion right there. Something to take into consideration if you have corrosion. So uh, I don't think I have a replacement screw for that. So I'll just have to make sure I seal that good with glue. But when you put the weather strip on, the, way, the recommended way is to measure it, fold it in half, and mark the weather strip. Let me see if I can get that. You're supposed to like fold it in half like that I don't know if you guys can see that and then mark it where it's in the center with the tape then measure and mark the center and that's where you're supposed to start you're supposed to work your way out I believe if I remember and like I said my memory is not that good from seven eight years ago that didn't work out for me I think I ended up just uh, fixing them on each end and then getting it up there on there and then just working it in that way that's what I ended up doing with the uh, weather strip for the uh, the hatch too, also. And uh, they say I tried marking it in the middle. I don't know. It just doesn't work out. So anyway, let me get to cleaning this. Like I said, if you're taking off the original latex weather strip, you're gonna have a heck of a mess. Like mine's not as bad because I didn't use a whole lot of glue and. Uh, it apparently doesn't take a lot of glue because uh, I never had any leaks. So that's something to keep in mind. So I'll go ahead and clean this up. I ain't going to do a bunch of scraping. If you scrape, try... One thing to keep in mind is if you're going to be doing a lot of cleaning, take masking tape and put it all along this edge. All along this edge here. And that will protect your paint. Uh, I don't have that much cleaning here to do. So, I'm not going to go ahead and mask it, but that's the recommended thing to do is put masking tape all along here. And then do all your, especially if you're doing a lot of scraping. And if you're going to use a wire wheel, uh, be real careful because if you jump, even with masking tape on here, that wire wheel or any type of wheel that you use will, will you know, if you, if you make a little mistake, it's going to go through that masking tape and into the paint. So I recommend you use a like a uh, plastic scraper if you can. If that's not good enough, then a metal scraper and mask this off to avoid your uh, your paint messing up your paint. So uh, let me get to work here and get this done. It's gonna go a lot better than I thought. I hope.
Alrighty, uh, I got the weather strip started, and I'm hoping I, you can see this good. And uh, hopefully I don't move this camera around. But what you're going to want to do is, once you get it on there, there's a lip on the back side, just like there's a lip here. That's going to go into that channel like that. And then you're going to take, like I, I don't know if I remember saying this at the beginning of the video, but or my last video, go to Harbor Freight, you get these uh, set of these uh, plastic... Uh, Plastic pieces comes with a bunch of different ones for prying the plastic tabs off and for what I'm about to do And like I said, you get it started there and then here and you press that in like that And it should go in real nice and easy And hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing there It's basically just like using a uh, shoehorn and you want to use like a soft pl uh, plastic one like this don't use like a metal screwdriver uh, if you do you're probably gonna end up tearing your your rubber so uh, be real careful there and just work your way down Okay, let me change camera position again. But you see this slip here. You're actually better off getting that big lip in under there in that groove. At least this is what I found worked best for me. You push it in with your fingers. You can use this again. Get it in there. It's got to go in that groove. Nice and tight. Don't tear it. And then, hopefully you can see on this side here, that lip needs to go under there. Let me see if I can do the camera and hold that for you at the same time. And get that in there. Okay, there it goes. And just work it in. I find that way works best. And uh, just work your way down. And voila, it's all in. All right. I'll have to say this CRC rubber is a lot better than the rubber I took off. Uh, let me see if I can get up here better. definitely a lot better yeah definitely that went well very well now uh, that being said when I took the original weather strip off it didn't go that well it wasn't wasn't bad it was just that there was a lot more cleanup uh, especially with the original latex weather strip so uh, plan for a lot of cleanup you know, like I said, cover your interior good. I'm going to move on to the A-pillar now. my first problem and uh, first problem is when I applied this I guess I applied too much glue and uh, on the a pillar here so this is going to take a little extra work this is how the uh, I'm gonna have to really dig dig at this with a sharp screwdriver or something to get that all off uh, now one other thing you might want to do when you have your weather strip depending how fussy you are you might want to go ahead and repaint your trim. Get something like uh, 
get some Eastwood uh, uh, frame uh, black, or they call it, or I don't know. They they have the black paint that's a matte black finish that works real well for stuff like this. Uh, you can see it here also. Let me see if I can get light on there, and I'll probably touch that up. You could probably I could probably just take a black marker to it if I wanted to, but I'll probably take some uh, black paint. I have chassis black, I think it is either underhood black or chassis black, Eastwood black, that works real well for this. So I'm gonna have to get the work cleaning all this up. I also had another problem, and I'll bring you over here and show you the black tab. The head broke off when popping it out. There's a little corrosion there I got to clean up also. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have to go to Napa and get another one. I hate stopping midstream to run to Napa. And uh, usually the reason I'm saying Napa is Napa seems to have the the best assorted quality, assorted, uh, assorted uh, fittings like this. Black plastic tabs like that. They got all these different screws. They always have that stuff. Uh, if one Napa doesn't have it, one of the other stores will have it, or just tell that Nap show it to the guy at the counter, and they can usually get it for you. So I'm gonna have to pull that out, see if I have another one, which I doubt I do, and uh, or run to Napa and get a get another one. Uh, the good thing about something like this is. I could probably just leave it out for now, and uh, if I don't want to run a Napa now, and next time I go by Napa, pick one up, and then just pop it in. So, see what happens. It's Saturday, so if I'm going to run a Napa, I'm going to have to run there right away, because they always close early on a Saturday, and they're not open on Sunday. That's the only thing bad about Napa. Now, you can get this type of stuff at... Uh, Sometimes at uh, AutoZone and Advanced Auto, they'll have this stuff. They have assorted stuff, too. So, might get lucky and get it there. If not, like I said, Napa is your best choice. At least in my area. So, uh, share down in the comments where you like to go for that sort of thing. Other people can learn from it and what area you're from. But, uh, anyway, let me get back to cleaning things up. Okay, I'm getting ready. I got everything cleaned up. I went ahead and uh, uh, touched up the corrosion and I got the glue on where I need it. And these plastic pieces are in such, these little plastic pushing tabs are in such bad shape. I don't know if you can see that or not. That uh, I'm just going to go ahead and replace all of them. So it means I'm going to have to make a run to Napa. Uh, it's a little late for me to get there now. They'll probably be closed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the weather strip on and I'm going to hold it in place with. Uh, screws uh i have a large assortment of screws i don't have a lot of these plastic uh pushing uh plug things so i'll put them in with screws and then when i get to the auto parts store i'll uh, go ahead and replace those screws with the plastic push-ins but for now that's what i'm going to have to do i'm going to get going on this
so back together as far as the weather strips concerned i gotta get the target top on that's gonna be a tough one because uh last time i did that did the weather strip i had put the target top on put a blanket on it put a 50 pound bag of uh of uh play sand i think it was on top and i just let it sit i think i let it sit overnight and then i screwed it down and then once you get it on there you want to leave it on for at least a good month well i don't know about a month but for a couple of uh, weeks because if you take it off you want everything to set and uh and once it gets set it won't be a problem taking it off and on but uh, until you get everything set uh it's going to be tough to get it on because you need to compress this weather strip. And uh, one thing I don't like is I don't like these wrinkles right here on the A-pillar. I'm hoping those work out in time. I guess it's wrinkled like that from shipping. So I'm hoping that works out. And uh, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and grease these up with silicone lube to protect them. And uh, in case anybody's wondering why I didn't use the 3M weather strip remover uh adhesive remover it's because uh that stuff will dissolve plastic like you won't believe it does a better job of dissolving plastic than removing the weather strip adhesive that's my experience so that's why i don't use it if you do use it use it with caution but uh i guess that's about it for this video i'm gonna go ahead and uh, lube that up maybe put the top on or maybe i'll do that tomorrow i don't know but uh I hope this was helpful. I hope everybody has a great day, and God bless.